女神との関係を否定しても耳を貸さなかったのはそっちだからな隠蔽から強化の会魔力解放 Imagine a world where there exists a legendary hero, the strongest being in the whole world, and you know, that would possibly tell you that no one could ever surpass them. But what if I told you that the protagonist of the series can surpass the greatest hero that ever existed by simply being a lot more stronger in terms of power or maybe even level? The following list here showcases 10 powerful anime protagonists that are stronger than the legendary hero. If you are new around here, then please make sure that you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell icon turned on to stay up to date with the latest anime news and also recommendations right at Your doorstep. Now, that could be all waiting. Let us begin with the video. More fit starter series to a list like this couldn't be more perfect than an anime called Chill in My 30s after getting fired from the Demon Lord's army. There are ranks within the Demon Lord's army, and the weakest of all members is a mere human soldier named Dariel, who is different than everyone else because he is the only one who really can't use any magic power. For that reason, he was actually viewed as a weak simpleton to then get fired from the army to where he is now just a normal human looking for a place to live. Not even to my surprise, though, turns out Dariel is overpowered. Even without magic power, he has some sort of superhuman strength to beat tough monsters. Perhaps the higher ups actually, you know, they made a grave mistake in kicking him out, and it's about time they're actually trying to recruit him back once more. Busted Dark Lord. This here is a Chinese animation series following the protagonist, son of the Demon Lord, who was ordered, or more like maybe even forced, to enter the Heroes Academy and obtain a certificate to bring legitimacy to the Demon Clan. <laughs> Heroes finding out the identity of the son being a demon is, you know, it's pretty dangerous, and so he was also forced to dress as a girl due to his information getting leaked out. Now, his dangerous and hilarious campus life is about to unfold as a powerful demon who easily surpasses all the heroic students as he hides his identity and power in enemy territory. <laughs> Now, who would have thought that a simple farmer boy who grows vegetables for a living turns out to be stronger than the legendary hero himself? Apparently, by leveling up his farming related skills, using a hoe as a weapon, which is a farming tool, seems to be quite overpowered. Not to mention, also using the power of vegetables and throwing a carrot to one shot a fire breathing dragon. It is absurd, but I guess it just works in the end for this series. <laughs> But aside from its fun looking concept, I couldn't really say the same thing for its bad production quality, horrible CGI, and below average animation. It's not the best series, but it's definitely not the worst. Some people will most likely enjoy a show like this, and it might be worth a try. Humanity's greatest hope and hero named Zero, a being everyone looked up to back in the days due to him being at the top of his game. The greatest hero there ever existed, who took down tough bad guys and saved the day countless times. Though after his mysterious disappearance, without a trace, years went by and people just pretty much forgot who Zero was. Reason why he left is because Zero went into hiding, away from battle and fame, as he really wanted to just live in peace, as he didn't really care about hero ranks whatsoever. After deciding to 
one day come back. Like I said, no one knew who he was and it's back from zero to hero from him to make a name for himself by beating up bad guys once again and letting everyone know who is the boss. Up next is an Isekai reincarnation series of the strongest exorcist who was left to die by his teammates and upon using a secret reincarnation technique to prevent his permanent death, he was reborn as a child into a noble family but he has absolutely no magic power within him. <laughs> Of course, being a powerful exorcist like he was, sure he didn't have magic, but he does have exorcism techniques and monster summons he can use to fight against dangerous monsters in the other world and summon beasts that he trapped back in his glory days before his reincarnation to use which proved to be extremely overpowered. Come on. It's really no surprise that he is even stronger than the current powerful hero within the academy that he even joined. A legendary assassin so famous and known for getting his work done with swift and clean skills, he was actually betrayed by his very own organization he worked with and got killed in a plane crash. Until of course, he was reincarnated to another world as a baby into a family who specializes in assassination. All of his memories of his previous life remained and also of his skills. On top of that, he was even given brand new powerful new abilities to work with since it is an isekai fantasy series with magic involved. And now the assassin is tasked to eliminate the hero of the other world using his techniques, which is his entire goal of the series. <laughs> Black Summoner is another isekai anime of a weakling beast tamer protagonist at first who managed to make his class even more powerful within a matter of doing a few quests and taming monsters to become overpowered. Kelvin the protagonist is known as what we call a battle junkie in this anime. If you don't know what it is, basically he is hungry to battle opponents that are stronger than himself and wants a real challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Types of characters like this are some of my favorites since they battle anyone, no matter who it is. Let me also not forget to mention that he is very strong, stronger than the hero's party, and can wipe them out all on his very own without an issue. Now just imagine you get Isekai to another world, you met face to face with a beautiful goddess but she called you ugly since you really didn't meet her standard, but in exchange she gave you godlike powers and sent you to the middle of nowhere to rot. Well this my friends here is the story of Moonlit Fantasy, one of the best Isekai anime that you can watch. <laughs> Makoto the protagonist may seem like a weakling who, you know, he does in fact wear a ring to actually seal away his tremendous powers despite appearing stuck at level 1 because he does wield extreme power. Aside from that, he has his hair which, you know, many won't like but I think having that adds a lot of good comedy moments because the characters are all so enjoyable to watch. <laughs> そんなに急がなくても話してあげる。じゃあね、手での歯。
now we're moving on to one of the best Chinese animation series out there by the name of The Daily Life of the Immortal King. This is a story of how a young child defeats the demon king at the age of a baby and grew to become unstoppable. The protagonist Wang Ling can destroy the planet at any time, and to pretty much prevent that, his parents made him wear an amulet to seal away his powers, but over time, that amulet does degrade and just starts breaking, and it's only a matter of time before hell gets loose. But upon transferring to an academy, Wang Ling received a lot of challenges after challenge from students wanting to pretty much just battle him, as his peaceful school life dream is beyond his reach now thanks to, you know, rumors of him being so powerful have spread out. Finish line in sight, the finale enemy on this list is reincarnated as a sword. A human being reincarnated in the form of a powerful weapon, which is a sword, able to level up super fast from every monster slate. It can pretty much move on its own, but can be very strong with a wielder in hand. <laughs> He managed to even find a poor little slave black cat girl from the black cat tribe, a group treated harshly by others and offered to be her master. Now Fran, the female protagonist, can be very powerful thanks to the sword as she becomes an adventurer and levels herself up to, you know, you know just avenge her people and become the best adventurer that she can be. Keep in mind though, Fran is kind of useless without the sword and can, you know, in some situations, it can be pretty damn intense. You just made it to the end of video and witnessed 10 powerful anime protagonists that are stronger than the legendary hero. If I managed to leave any anime out in particular that would be great if you on the list, then please let me know in the comment section down below as I'd love to hear your very opinion, or just comment down below what you thought about the video in general as I always appreciate feedback. So please enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one.